Hey guys, D here and welcome back. Now you may have noticed on the channel lately that there have been quite a few cosmetics unboxings because there are so many awesome cosmetics out there that are nerdy themed, horror themed, spooky themed, what have you. And we have another one today, one I'm really super duper excited about. This is a company called My Pretty Zombie. And My Pretty Zombie has homemade lipsticks, shadows, nail polishes, face powders. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, but they're all horror themed, which is so cool to me that there's so many things out there that kind of fit my personal aesthetic and so many of you out there watching too. So a huge thank you to My Pretty Zombie for sending these to us to try for you and to just kind of experiment and see what their formula is like. So let's dig in. <coughs> I'm sorry guys, my allergies are just so bad. Let's go ahead and take everything out. Pink. <coughs> okay. So here's their card. She gave me quite a few. Beautiful card. Alright. And we have cute little stickers. Little kitty cats. Oh, they're beautiful. I love them. I love cats. We have a little kitty. <coughs> a little Piz. My son's gonna steal that, I guarantee you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come. Well, you know, you know what Piz looks like. Okay. Aww. Oh, this is cute. Andrea, thank you. <coughs> it says, I sent some green glow setting powder to use on top of foundations also blackish blush because goth that is so true because goth is the best excuse <coughs> all right let's go ahead and oh this little bag oh the bats okay so let's go ahead and, and kind of look at the colors that we have here this is the blush and this is mescaline brush, brush, mescaline blush. So let's go ahead and the the thing comes up on it pretty well. Like there wasn't a huge struggle, which sometimes it can be, especially if you have nails. Okay. Now I am an olive skin tone, so I'm a little bit yellow. Ooh. Come on, focus. Oh, look at that. This is the blush. It has like pink shimmer, like super fine pink shimmer to it. So even though it's black, it's like, it could work on the face. Like, plus this would be for pretty eyeshadow too. Wow, that is gorgeous. I'm gonna need a wipe. Hold on a second. Okay, so let's see how good it comes off too. So this is so pretty. And it comes right off, so it doesn't take a whole lot to get it off. Okay. So that's the blush, that is beautiful. Do I look pretty? And this is lip safe too which is nice, you can add it to a gloss, you can put it on top of some liquid lipstick and make it really pop, that's awesome. So here we have, actually we'll look at this, Dr. Pickles Miraculous Beauty Dust. And this is Green Glow. Whoop! Some powder flew out. This is a set, like a setting powder. Whoa! I'm like, oh, this is just like a plain setting powder. I don't know if you can see it, but there is a definite green shift. 
that is pretty and that's actually would make for a really good like subtle highlighter too that's awesome I have never seen something like that before where it's like I've seen green highlighters but not just like green setting powders and this is not lip safe what I've noticed in the unboxings that I've done is that the greens are not safe for your lips but like the other ones are like the ones that look almost that look toxic are it's strange okay next up we have a little bat with boobs and this is stab you forever Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this baby. Babe. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Look at the shimmer on that thing. Holy crap. That is stunning. Oh, I got it under my nail. Shit. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love that color and it is like buttery. Sorry. You're fine. And this is lip safe too. This would be beautiful. Like if you're doing like a mermaid look or something, that would be gorgeous on your lips. This one is Grim Deva and this is lip safe. And these are all vegan too, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Uh oh, there it goes spilling some. Ooh, this is pretty. This is a, does it have a green shift to it? This is a shimmery purple, like a frosty purple. Um, while the other one was glittery, this is almost metallic and shimmery. Next up is Tenderloin. This is not, oh, okay. So this is vegan, this is vegan, this is vegan, and this is vegan. This is not vegan, but it is lip safe. I like how she mentions what is and isn't vegan on each one. Ooh, this is like a, I've had almost nail colors looks like this. This does look like meat, like, like raw meat with a purple shift. That's pretty. That one's a, I think the patchiest one so far has been Grandeva, which that happens with purples, like darker colors. This is anthrax. This is not vegan and not lip safe. Ooh, but it is pretty. So it, see, it has the green in it. It's got big, not even big. It's got really super fine green shimmery glitter in it. With like a purple base, like a purpley red base. And this last one is everything looks better on a meat hook. This is vegan and lip safe. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. Okay, so this has this is like a brown red base with a blue green shimmer. It almost looks like bruise like, which I really you see, that's my, that's Sorry. my husband. Sorry. He's trying to get outside. Okay, ready for the noise? Just go for it, baby. Sorry, guys. <laughs> He's not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so there's everything looks better on a meat hook. I love that name. I love all of these names, actually. And the last thing is, hey, everything looks better on a meat hook, meat hook lipstick. Come on, man, focus. There we go. 
No, I don't usually sound this bad. I, I apologize for the sound of my voice. I'm you're gonna hear many videos with me like this that sound like this. Um, allergy season for me lasts about three or four months, and it is brutal this year. So, unfortunately, that's where I'm at. But okay, this is the lipstick. You can tell that this is hand poured because down the center there is an air bubble hole. Okay, put this right next to the eyeshadow and see how it, okay, there is some, there are some differences. You can see the differences. So that's everything looks better on a meat hook. Side by side, one lipstick, one eyeshadow or loose pigment. So the lipstick isn't, it's pigmented, but it's also sheer. So it's not like, um. A super hyper pigmented one but it's a nice light sheer I wonder I don't see the shimmer in there as much I don't see the shimmer I think it's just like the base color which I like too that's awesome guys this these colors are so pretty I'm super impressed with the just how pretty these are um, I tend to stick with I think this one's my favorite I tend to stick with plums, browns, and colors like this just because of my eye color. Um, so I appreciate, thank you so much again, my pretty zombie, for sending me these to try out. I will talk more about, and these just wipe off. I will talk more about um, the colors and, and pricing and everything down below. Um, we'll talk about how these blend and things like that. Um, so definitely check out that article that's linked down below. Keep your eye out because we are going to have so much more coming. Um, I, I love doing these unboxings and swatches when it comes to cosmetics just because it's nice to have somebody who's got like not so fair skin, who's kind of, who's kind of hanging out in the middle, swatch alternative makeup because normally you don't, it's very fair people who are swatching it. So, um... Yeah, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please comment what you'd like to see next. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.